guarantee you. <laughs> I will bet you money that's going to be in the b reel. <laughs> I bet you this might even end up in the cast video. Really, what doesn't end up in the cast video? Me. Ooh. <laughs> no! Not allowed! <laughs> 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 Raw, raw, raw. Well, come on, shut down. Oh, 
<laughs> Carissa doing this. We're already a meme!
It's wet out here. I'm Chris Vento, and this is Swamp Ass. <laughs> I Coming to you live from Orb 2018. We're so. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my. of the hard work that we've put in and take that moment to kind of revel in it because well we all saw today sometimes things don't always go as we planned so I would like to open the floor up first renaissance festival first time doing landscapes I'm always I am very impressed with everybody's passion and dedication to it you know it's like something that does stand out um, as abnormal in several ways but uh, I had a really good time you guys did make it fun, so I appreciate all of you. I really like all the things that we did in order to get where we are now. I saw the progression and then seeing the results of it. Thank you, Dad. It's also for this being my first year with you guys. This has been amazing. You're all my friends now, and having this chance to see just how dedicated and talented and skilled all of you are, and not just because of the skill and talent that you're here, because you willingly chose participate in something that's not just for you but for our community all together that's amazing you guys have shown me what it's like to really enjoy life and for that i am going to remember this weekend for the rest of my life and i hope we can have more together thank you so much everyone i would also like to thank you all for welcoming me it was my first time meeting a lot of you guys you're so kind and warm and welcoming and you just roll with whatever you put up with it when i screwed up the chess moves Wait, you screwed up? <laughs> Wait, you messed up so chess moves? Just kidding. What? She messed up like a buzzer. <laughs> no, I definitely didn't. No, like, I'm dead, dead serious. <laughs> I had no idea. Whenever she's like, oh, we funny. played chess moves really early. yesterday. I, I, as Humphrey, would like to say, I don't think she messed up at all. Well, thanks. Humphrey, <laughs> Henry, what's your name? I have no idea. Tanya did not notice things. My favorite memory was when they informed me I was going to be in the melee and I had to find something to use of that 
and I ended up finding this, <laughs> and I brought it in, and everyone just instantly fell in love with it. It's like, that's one of my favorite things about this whole process, which is how much creative freedom we had to make our characters. <laughs> it was in 1982, I started playing this silly game of Dungeons and Dragons, and I fell in love with the whole medieval crap then. And I was 14, I know. Um, but then I got into acting, and I played in all my high school plays, and it was great. And then I forgot it all. Until last year, I saw you do Robin Hood. And I said, I want to do that. So my wife, who is really awesome, said, okay. And she's given up a lot for me to do this. A lot of things that I should have been doing on the weekends, like cleaning and mowing and everything else. But I will say one thing, it paid off yesterday when 17 of my family and friends sat in the corner and watched me do something so fucking fun. I just want to say, I'm sorry I punched you in the mouth. <laughs> I just want to say to everybody, thank you from the bottom of my heart for 40 years for getting what I wanted to do to making it happen. So you're awesome. Uh, you're awesome. It's just the smoke in my eyes and choking me up. So. <laughs> it's gonna be weird thinking about my favorite memory because my favorite memory probably involves the worst day of work this year. Um, with all the rain and all the horribleness. Um, but watching, oh god, I cry every time. <clears throat> watching everybody get together and um, pull up that stupid wall. <laughs> like that, that was, it went down and suddenly the entire cast was there and we were holding it up and we were standing in the rain and we were the most together working on something that I think I've ever seen us do. And that is a beautiful thing. So I enjoy it. I love you all dearly. Thank you for a wonderful life. You, I mean, you, you taught little, okay, so there was that little boy who had his birthday on yes. Friday. Yes! You were talking about, do you want to know how to, how to make a, how to make a cheer at a Renaissance festival? I mean, I can't remember what it was, he just went, woo! Or something no, like that. Oh no, it was, what was it, he did? <laughs> it was much more, it was so adorable. Because it was much more high pitched. Yes. And like crackly. Uh -huh. like, it was really cute. Now, I want you to say is, huzzah! Can you do that for me? And he goes, huzzah! I'm like, yeah. <laughs> On the inside, I'm like, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> it was adorable. Thanks for making me come out this weekend. Hi, hi, hi. And, um, bring me in today. The best day to be here. <laughs> so I woke up this morning. Uh, literal shit has been my day. <laughs> uh, I had shit in my car. Dog shit. When I first got in my car, because it, it wasn't anybody's fault, a tent fell on me as I watched the stage in front of me collapse. <laughs> Luckily, my pirate hat that everyone bitched about, like, that's that period appropriate, <laughs> saved my life. So, that's the <laughs> That was very stressful this morning. I thought it was in my car, which it was not. Uh -huh. but then I thought it somehow got taken to my house, because I didn't take anything in my house last Damn night. Damn tavern. And when the, the spot where I left it last night, the cord that I took off was still in the same spot, but the tapper wasn't there. Uh, are you telling me two years in a row? I need mean, you to talk to the guy who still has the house to me and tell me that he couldn't find his tapper. <laughs> <laughs> me knowingly, knowing that Kez had it in her tent the whole time, and I'm just like, <laughs> I locked my keys in my trunk. Oh. <laughs> and luckily, my MVP of the week at TJ Yay. and his lovely father has AAA gold. And they were able to open my car, but I still can't get my keys out of my trunk. I found a way to pull my seat down from the back with TJ's screwdriver, MVP for the second time, and I was able to get my keys which are now in my pocket right here.
I described today as a fun disaster. Everything went wrong, but I still had a lot of fun. That's the way I live it. Times like these that like make you feel really good about how resilient you can be. Like um, lots of bad things happen, and then getting through it. You know, it's like you get to use that as like your like uh, line for like your level of resilience, and it makes you feel stronger the next time something bad happens. So I always try to remember that when days like today happen. Okay, Patrick. You can fly a jet, you can sew, you can do this. Okay, Patrick. And then he very carefully just pressed the sewing pedal. And when he got one straight line down, it was like he had just crossed the line at the Olympics. It was the best thing ever. Let's see, Lance, how everybody is willing to put in the work. People are willing to stick it out through damn near tropical storm force winds and rain and just come together to help each other, to work with each other. That definitely gives me a lot of hope. I didn't get to be, unfortunately, at this fair. Um, I really wanted to, but with my mom being ill, I had to step out. Um, and it was hard stepping out. It's okay, my love. I, love I forgive you. This family, this is my family. I don't have a big family, this is it. These are the people I love and care about, think about, and pray about. Um, <laughs> I couldn't be prouder of every person here of how much dedication and hard work they put into this fair. Thank you. Um, I know Dominique kind of touched on it. Uh, life happens, y'all. Uh, many of you know this, some of you don't. My mother passed away in June. Um, so now I have lost both my mother and my father. So I want to thank each and every one of you for being that family for me, for being there for me when I've had a bad day or taking me in and letting me drink a way too much tequila and margaritas uh, and vent to you about life, the universe, and everything. Uh, you guys have been absolutely wonderful and I do really want each and every one of you to give yourself a pat on the back. This hasn't been easy and I think all of us can agree with that, but we did the best that we could do. We did everything we could to make this the best show that we could. And I want to thank each and every one of you for that. Thank you. Last night, I attended the memorial for our late Um A lot of us only met him last year, including me. We had a lot of mutual friends, but it was the first time really meeting him. Um, and but I wanted to go pay my respects and listen to the stories and listening to how he touched people's lives just by being here for three days. He touched people's lives by knowing them years ago, not seeing them for years, and remembering everything about them the first time they saw them three years later. Then one word during all of these stories I was hearing stuck out in my mind and made me how special this song is. It's a word that at least seven of you have said in your um, words. moments tonight. That word is family. Hell yeah. You hear about a lot of groups that have names in Cosmic Community, you know, Liberation's Fund, but it's always Ren Fair family. And you all have been saying it. It's really true. And I grew up in it, and it feels like that's me. I missed him, even though I barely knew him. Um, you know, when, when you're not here, we miss you when you're not here, whether life happens, or you're Troy. <laughs> uh, we really do miss him because we are a family. And I am so grateful and so blessed to call you my family. And those of you who just joined us this year, welcome to the family.
and make it your best, just in case. And I'm getting upset because this is my last year getting to perform with each and every one of you. I'm happy because I'm moving on to another chapter in my life. I'm finally getting to build that family that I've always wanted. But it breaks my heart because I feel like I'm leaving the family I already had. You can do both, girl. <laughs> I need some time. <laughs> Let me figure it out. <laughs> the reason why I bring it up where it's we come out and we tell you every year, fight like it's the best, even if it's your last. I'm happy that this was my last year doing sport. If this is where it ends and I never get to do a fair again, you guys made it amazing. And this is where I want to leave it. Good night and joy be 
to 